So I've already made a couple of WAP clipping tutorials before, but a lot has changed since then. WAP completely updated their interface, added new campaign layouts, and even changed the way you join and get paid. That's why I'm filming an updated step-by-step -step tutorial showing exactly how to start clipping with WAP using AI. So let's get straight into it. Before we dive into the dashboard, let's quickly break down what WAP clipping actually is. In short, clipping means taking long-form videos like podcasts, YouTube videos, or interviews and turning them into short, where clips that can go viral on Reels, TikTok, or Shorts. It's one of the fastest ways for creators to scale their brands on social media. They upload their raw, long-form content and pay you based on the performance. And the way clipping works, it's a very nice cycle. The more views your clip gets, the more you make. You don't need to make your own content, build a product, or manage clients. You simply join a campaign, get access to creators' videos, turn them into short-form content, and post them on your pages. That's why WAP clipping is so powerful. But there is one big problem. Editing videos yourself takes a lot of time. That's where AI comes in. Instead of manually finding the best moments to clip, we'll drop a long form video into AI software and it will automatically generate over 10 viral ready shorts we can post. So let me show you exactly how to do that. But first, let's head into the WAP dashboard, click discover on the left hand side and select clipping. That's where all clipping campaigns live. The interface looks much cleaner now and lets us filter specific campaigns instantly. We are going to choose video clipping instead of manually searching for campaigns like before we can now join a group that curates the best campaigns for us saving a ton of time here you can see the top rated groups at the top and the rest below i'm joining this one with the most five star reviews once you join we get immediate access to a list of campaigns we can clip for the rpm shows how much you earn per 1000 views and you can check if a campaign is open to join right away or requires an application. Under the tab called Earn, you'll find all the campaigns. Click on any campaign to see its remaining budget. If it's maxed out, skip it. If it still has funds, we can join it. Let's open this one. Here we can see the campaign requirements, supported platforms, and available assets for clipping. I like that this one lets you post on all three major platforms, TikTok, Reels, and YouTube Shorts. And it's also ran by a live stream based creator, which makes clipping even easier. So let's download one of of his live streams and get started. Okay, we got the long form video saved on our computer. Now the old way would be to scrub through that video manually for hours, find interesting moments, cut them, add captions, export, you know the pain. That's exactly why I started using Submagic. Submagic is an AI powered tool that automatically finds the best viral moments from a long video, adds captions and formats everything perfectly for short form platforms. So let me show you exactly how I use it for warp clipping campaigns. First of all, click the the first link in this video description and sign up for Submagic. Once you're in, click Get Magic Clips. You can paste the YouTube link of the long video or upload the raw file from your campaign folder. After uploading, Submagic automatically analyzes the entire video and generates 10 to 20 ready to post clips. Each clip comes with a title, a short description, and a viral score that shows how strong that moment is. Let me quickly show you some of the clips Submagic generated. <laughs> Wait, what if I said, if you say yes to come to Monday, I'll give you a million dollars? Say a thousand dollars. As you can see, these clips are already ready to be posted across social media. But in case you want to make your own adjustments, simply pick your favorite clip based on the viral score. I usually go for clips with a score above 80%. Those tend to perform the best. Tap on a clip and select your caption, font, and layout. They recently added new styles. I personally prefer the clean, minimal fonts because they look the most natural on Reels, TikTok, and YouTube. Export your clips and you're done. You'll now have a folder full of viral viral ready videos you can upload directly to your pages. And if you want to take the full control and create clips manually instead of using the auto generated ones, just click get clips manually. On the left side, you'll see the full transcript and chapters already broken down for you. Pick a hook from one section and click add to selection. Then find the main content, the meat, and add that as well. Finally, choose your call to action and add that at the end. And that's it. In just a few minutes, you've created your own custom clip. Click create clip and Submagic will automatically handle the captions and formatting for you. Submagic has also recently added the multi-clip feature, allowing you to combine multiple clips into one. As you can see, Submagic is an absolute must-have if you're serious about clipping. With this tool, you can literally create months worth of content in a single day. While your competition is still digging through videos, finding the best moments, and manually adding captions one by one, you'll be moving at lighting speed with Submagic. So if you haven't already, click the first link in the description and use the code CREATE to get 10% 
of your subscription. So one question I keep getting is, do I have to make dedicated fan page for each creator or can I use one general page for multiple clips? So for this specific creator, I used as an example in this tutorial, creating a dedicated fan page would be a better option. But for example, if a creator you're clipping content for is in niche like fitness, business or self-improvement, you can create a more general page based on that niche. That gives you a flexibility to clip for multiple creators under one page. Just make sure to double check the requirements because some creators don't mind you using a general page while others strictly require for you to run a fan page. Okay, once you have your clips ready, let's talk about the proper posting strategy because this part matters more than most people think. If you post like a bot, you'll get treated like one. So here's the warm up process that I recommend that you do before you start posting. Step one, create a new TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts account. For the first three days, don't post anything. Just scroll, like, comment, follow relevant pages. Also in this time, set up your page, you know, profile picture, bio, all that good stuff. Step two, start posting slowly. On day four, upload one clip on each platform. Watch how it performs for the first 24 hours. If it gets traction, post another. If not, wait 48 hours before the next upload. Step three, once the account gains momentum, scale up to one to two posts per day per platform. Make sure you don't use the same caption on each post and don't forget to follow the campaign requirements listed in the creator's campaign on WAP, like tagging the official creator account and following any other posting guidelines. All right. The fun part, let's talk about getting paid. And this is very important, okay? You're gonna find that most creators want you to submit your clip as soon as you post. As you can see, if you go back to campaign and click submit, it says only views after you submit count towards payout. Submit as soon as you post to get paid for all of your views. This means that as soon as you post your clip on social media, you should immediately go back and submit it. And after your clip starts getting views, you'll be compensated directly through WAP. And the WAP allows you to withdraw your earnings straight to your bank account. A few tips that will help you to scale faster. Avoid joining campaigns that already have 90% or more of their budget completed. Make sure to join multiple groups to keep constant stream of clipping campaigns. Once you find a format that goes viral for a creator, double down on it to get as many views as possible. Use AI tools like Submagic to automate the content creation process, which is usually the biggest bottleneck in this business. Every day, more and more creators realize that if they want to scale their organic reach, they need to start producing content at scale. And clipping is one of the best ways to do it. As you can see, the demand for clippers is rising every single day. So that's the complete updated WAP clipping tutorial. From setting up your page, joining campaigns, using AI to generate clips, to finally getting paid. To summarize, here's everything you need to get started. Sign up for Submagic using the first link in the video description and use code CREATE at checkout to get an extra 10% off. Join a group that curates the best clipping campaigns so you can save time. Big campaigns that are just starting and still have available budgets. Warm up your accounts, start posting, and submit your clips for rewards. Keep scaling by joining more campaigns and clipping for more creators. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.